Okay guys, James here from Carbon Off Road. Now you're just installing your winch for the first time, but before you do, make sure you read the instructions on how to install them. This gives you some really good information on what to do and how to do it properly. So make sure you do that. So that's the number one rule before you install this winch, make sure you read the instructions. Now, let's get down to some wiring basics and we'll just show you through to make sure that you get the right wires going to the right locations. First and foremost, we have these three shorter wires, a red, a black, and a yellow. These are the wires that power the motor. So we have a red wire going to a red lug, a yellow wire going to a yellow lug, and a black wire going to a black lug. Make sure you get those right. Now, when you are tightening up those nuts, make sure you use two spanners. Uh, they're a 13 mil spanner, so make sure you use a spanner on the back there and then a spanner on the front. What this does, it prevents the breakage of the lug internally, okay? So, we've got those right, we've got the three wires correct. Off the back here, this is your negative wire going to the battery. This wire runs all the way to the battery and can only run to the battery. It is not for wiring to the chassis or any other things. It is only to directly to the battery. We've also got a solenoid earthing wire. This must be earthed out here, not anywhere else or on the chassis or anything like that on here, okay? So this is your negative ground for the battery. Now under here, we have the positive. <clears throat> this runs all the way to the battery as well, but before you attach it to the battery, we highly recommend and we also include is an isolation switch. Now this prevents a lot of fires, prevents a lot of um, problems uh, in the future for your winch. So always run an isolation switch. Now when you're wiring up your positive wire, make sure you always use conduit. Conduit is cheap, make sure you get some split conduit and this will prevent fires and all sorts of trouble from happening. Now when you are wiring up uh, your wires, just ensure that you have 25 mil slack because there is a lot of movement between the bull bar and the chassis, and when that movement happens, you've got to allow for that. So make sure you allow for some slack between the bull bar and the chassis. Um, this will give you some trouble-free operation, and it'll prevent the wires from being pulled off the lugs on here. Now, the breather. The Carbon 12K and 9.5K come with a breather. So it simply just gets pushed into here, and that locks it in. Now, this breather hose must be installed under the bonnet and this will prevent water ingress into the motor. So prevent water from getting inside of here. How it does that, when the motor cools down from being hot, it wants to suck in uh, water. So what it will do, instead of sucking in water through the seals, it will suck air through this breather hose. So must be installed. Rightio guys, now that's pretty much it on the wiring installation of a carbon winch. Make sure you read the documentation that's supplied with it and take your time and get it right the first time. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, cheers.